G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video to show you guys how to create desktop shortcuts in Linux Mint 15. So for example, uh, you've got a file in your uh, your home directory here, such as My Music. Now I've created one earlier, I'll just delete that. And just say you want this actually to have a shortcut on your desktop, but you actually want to leave the actual directory within the home folder, or for example within a Dropbox folder, so it will always sync. Uh, what you'll do is, okay, so there are my files, there's my files, just go back a second, and what you need to do is, uh, it's not quite like Windows where you might right click and go send to uh, desktop, or uh, move to, that's just going to copy it across. What you need to do is open up a terminal, and uh, this seems hard in the beginning, but it actually gets really easy after a while, so I'll show you what to do. So type in, uh, after you open up the terminal, Control alt t Type in LN, which stands for link. Type in dash S, so LN space dash S, where, and which stands for symbolic link. So it's a symbolic link to another area in your hard drive. And then simply just type in the, uh, the file path or location of where the actual file is that uh, you want to copy across or shortcut across to somewhere else. So as you can see, my file is in the one I want to create a shortcut for, so to speak, or a symbolic link for on the desktop is the uh, within Juzzy My Music. So there it is. So I'll type in Home Juzzy, who's me, and My Music. Now when I hit Tab there, it auto completed. Hit a space. So we've got the the first link here, uh, the first file path directory, which stands for the file that we want to create a shortcut for, essentially. And then after you hit a space. This uh, next file path directory is where you want it to go. So from and to. And I'll just create the two now, which is uh, fairly close in drives, a very similar location, except a desktop. Then that's a capital D as well. So we've got link, symbolic, uh, what drive or folder that you want to uh, copy across or shortcut across and where you want to shortcut it across to. So fairly simple there. Now if I just close this down and I hit enter, you're going to see the icon pop up here. So hit enter, give it a second, and there you go. There's my music. So open it up. You'll see the files there, just like in uh, the home folder. Now interestingly, you'll see it show up. Uh, the file believes that it's in the desktop, but really it's not coming from the desktop at all. For example, if I were to put an uh, empty file in here, call it new file, and this is from Juzzy My Music uh, directory. If I go to the actual one on the desktop, you'll see the file there. So it's mimicking, it's not just mimicking, it is the directory that's in the home folder there. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you uh, create a symbolic link, in other words, to say in a to create a shortcut in Linux Mint 15. I uh, hope this has been of some help to you guys. Uh, it's a little bit different to Windows, and uh, I hope you understand that that's just the way it is, and it uh, can be really fun after a while, and it is great. In fact, it's really useful when you create uh, servers and web pages, and you have to have symbolic links flying everywhere, because Linux really is a, uh, a server-based sort of distribution in general, so it's uh, that, that's just the way it goes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, really easy to do after a while, and thanks for your time, guys. Please uh, leave a comment and subscribe, and cheers. Thanks again.